sex tips are fun, but I really love the casual conversation you girls have about relationships and not just sex. I oh. think I think I was focusing too much on how I could give a better blowjob versus how we were connecting. Breathe through your nose. Oh That's how you give the better blowjob, ladies. I mean, I've got more tips, but breathe through your nose is number one. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, girl. <laughs> Did not break the microphone. Hey, what's up? I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. And we're just a couple of Vegas girls. Living the not-so-Vegas life. Yeah, but we're not regular Vegas girls. We're cool Vegas girls. Kinda. And this is the Keeping It Casual podcast. Where we talk about everything and nothing all at once. Let's do it. I like when you sang it out. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love that song. Stupid movie. <laughs> oh my god, it's just us. <laughs> wow. After a month of guests and awesomeness. Not that I'm like regretting any of this. No, but... it's so different. It's a whole different vibe when oh, it's just us. To, like... I've just missed talking to you. I haven't been able to talk about what I've been doing for the past month. I know. Sometimes we're like when when it was just us like, you know, doing it a lot, it was just like, okay, save it and we're gonna talk we'll talk on Friday, yeah. you know. But no, tonight it's, it's spill all, all the beans. First of all, uh, let's give shout outs to our fabulous sponsors, Pole Fitness Studio, who is hosting again our Alternative Babe Show. This is Fuck a live yeah, podcast event. We've got three really cool podcasts. Uh, on the Stay Entertainment, It's About Damn Crime, and us. Yes, and it's $5. We'll it's and a- Sylvia is going to be hosting. Yeah, she was on with us last week. She- and you could see oh, her babe. fabulous hair oh, and my her, God. Go- her sharp ass winged eyeliner. It's, it's, a hollow- it's a costume party, too. It's Saturday, October 26th. So, and there's um, no reason why you shouldn't be going because my friend Grace is flying in from San Francisco yeah. to come see this. What up, Grace? Can't wait to meet you. But uh, <laughs> we just hope you'll come and join us because we're really looking forward to putting on some really fun events in Vegas. This is just the beginning, guys. So yes. also, Pole Fitness Studio, all the sexy dance and fitness you can handle. And if you sign up in the month of October, you can get a year memberships just $69 a month. That's like almost half price. I don't uh, math, but it's good. PoleFitnessStudio.com. It very good. Very good. Unlimited deal. classes. Hell yeah. Put your and- sexy on. And pole t- and studio time, whatever. Commit to like I'm going to be sexy for this year. Like Hell this yeah. year. And then shout out to lose. Alternative Dream Clothing. Hey girl. Weird girl owned and operated. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a model for it. Sylvia is a model for it. Yeah. She makes some badass shirts. And uh, guess what, guys? She does a shirt of the month every month. Donations go to charity. I and love that. and because MJ and I love you so much, if you use the code Keepers at checkout throughout the month of October, you get 10 percent off a shirt and free shipping. Free shipping. So it's like you went to the mall. Like. Yeah, basically, it's just coming to you for free. Just buy your shirt. And guess what? MJ and I are launching a Keeping It Casual merch store that we have (sighs) stressed over for... You know why? Because Brie did it all by herself. Because she's I was I'm trying so to say I was you. trying to bring you in on it. <laughs> no, you did the merch store. You set it up and stuff. I mean, it's a very proud feeling. Like uh, when oh. I built when I built my own website a couple years yeah. ago, I was like the proudest. Like I was like I fucking built a website. I did and it. You know how I figured out how to do it? A YouTube video. I like Google. You know what's funny is like <laughs> my personal website I built wasn't as stressful Made as making die. merch. Yeah. But there is a alternative dream clothing keeping it casual collaboration. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there is an MJ shirt and a Brie shirt based <laughs> off of our tattoos. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> if you can guess what mine is, my maiden name is Cherry. Um, but yeah, so it has cherries on it. I have the cherry tattoo. And then I have it's a vampire tattoo, tattoo so the vampire things. And if you go to our Instagram right now. You got um, that tattoo when you were on the podcast. I did. <laughs> it was like last, last year. year. <laughs> Holy shit. I think and- it like a year ago to this moment. Yeah, if you check out our Instagram right now, we are doing a giveaway of Bree's birthday mug. Yeah, so tell them what's in it. Matte black Starbucks cup. Mm-hmm. You get uh, keeping it casual times alternative dream clothing. Do an alternative babe shit with my vampire fangs. Ooh, uh, yeah. T-shirt and a keeping it casual hat. You get a, a cool ass trucker hat. Remember when Von Dutch was cool? We're bringing it back. <laughs> Putting keeping it casual on it, But too. you get keep, to keep it casual with it. Um, Yeah, so this is my birthday giveaway. Guess what, guys? I am giving you gifts for my birthday i know how cool is she and been you have tell my birthday and she's reminding you when her birthday is that's october 20th <laughs> okay so what do they have to do oh they have to follow us on instagram mm-hmm. follow alternative dream clothing on instagram like the post tag a friend repost just do it easy do just it now do it. you'll be in the drawing and if not we're going to keep you in our back pocket for more cool pop-up giveaways yes, on instagram free so. shit tickets to our live show on instagram we've yeah. given away other cool shit on instagram so it's happening for mj's birthday month we're going to in Mexico. This is going to be Mexican themed. Ole! <laughs> Micheladas for everybody. <laughs> Damn. Okay, speaking of Micheladas, because we haven't been able to like fucking 
<laughs> just chat or drink micheladas. We were, okay. we were being very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Don't Tell Comedy at the beginning of September. Yeah, what is Don't Tell Comedy? Well, they're going to be on the show soon, guys. I know. So what Don't Tell Comedy is, like, it's all over. I know they have, like, Don't Tell Comedy in New York, Don't Tell Talk Comedy Boston, Don't Tell Comedy LA. Well, they finally have Don't Tell Comedy Vegas. Ooh. And it's secret locations. So you buy your tickets, uh -huh. and then the day of the show, they send you the address. So you just have, do you, so you, you just don't have the time? know what comedian, but like it's like once or twice a month. I, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much because they're coming on soon. Okay, so but yeah, that's pretty but cool. It's secret, it's secret locations, secret comedians. It's like it's like a covert operation. I love like, this. It's so fun. And it's just a comedy show when you get there. Yes. <gasps> oh, I fun. went to one at a fucking salon. It was at oh. a hair salon. It oh. was so fun. And it's BYOB. Interesting. That's how you do it then. Hell yeah. You're like, come on down. Down. Just bring. Maybe they, maybe can they you bring some snacks? Stop by and bring some. I want some grapes, some hummus. Like if you can pick. Yeah. <laughs> bring, if you can bring the party, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, and I don't know. Maybe they can. Uh, maybe they can do it at Pole Fitness Studio. How fucking funny would that be? Oh to have a God. comedy show at Fanya's studio. Uh, Fanya's down for uh, it all. She has a great space. Okay. She has cool stuff. It's already sold out. You know what? You know how it is. You know how we manifest things. So. All right. So then, um, Rachel Nicole, who's a, key, a keeper of ours, I've what talked up? about her. I before. can't wait to meet her. I'm so excited. She's coming to the live show. Okay, great. But um, she she helps put on that with um, her boss, Nick. Okay. When I got there, I swear to you, like, I had not met Rachel. I had not met her boss. But I felt like VIP. Like, they walked up. They hugged me. They were like, oh, come sit over here. Oh, come do this. It was so fabulous. I was just like, oh, my God. We're going to have to do champs for the fire pit sesh when we have them on then. Oh, yeah, we got to VIP them. We're we going to have to VIP. We VIP everybody. I VIP your ass tonight. That's true. We got spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to say both. Bolognese, because it sounds fancier. Yeah, I wanted you to say that word. Uh, um, I've got a lot of alcohol, and you made some bomb-ass iced tea, okay? And I always have tequila. And yeah. we know how much tequila gets me to go do some crazy shit, say some crazy shit. I know. I was, uh, we just haven't seen each other in a while, guys, so we're excited we've to seen chat e with We've you seen tonight. each other. We just haven't been able to sit down and talk. And then I went to um, I went to California with Monique. We went to, um, remember how I did that I Like Scary Movies experience? Yes. Well, they redid it, and they added a Friday the 13th experience exhibit so i had to go again obviously that is so cool okay so i have the jason tattoo so as i'm walking into the friday the 13th part of the exhibit i'm like i'm looking for my friend he's been gone since the 80s has anybody seen my friend <laughs> and the guy working there he was like yeah he's right there and they like there's this like really cool like crystal jason mask they did for camp crystal lake yeah. it was pretty fucking cool oh yeah Bree's yeah. a scary movie monster i, I just want to have like a weekend slumber party with you and watch scary movies oh, well and every night in October, I've been watching a different scary movie every night. I started with Scream, then I did Scream 2. I love Scream. And Scream, Scream 3. My all-time favorite Scream scary movie. Because Scream's fucking amazing. It's so good. It's just like you remember? the perfect amount of scary and funny. And it was needed at that moment when Scream came out. Oh, it God, was it was like, so good. We were starved for like good scary movies. Here's a fun fact. Did you know Drew Barrymore was actually supposed to play Sidney Prescott? Uh, okay. Another fun fact. Drew Barrymore's flash of her sexy lower back tattoo when I was 16 years old and I saw that movie I was like that's fucking cool I want a tattoo there <laughs> and I got my tramp stamp when I was 18 <laughs> and we all know we love Drew Barrymore because we've talked about it multiple times She's well so remember Scream 2 when we were talking about weird movies that lead to hot sex I was watching Scream 2 with my ex I mean that's a good uh, that's a good reminder yes. Chris yes. and I haven't done our scream yet this this October so you something. haven't screamed we haven't screamed yet Scream the movie or screamed from good sex? Both, but it's early in October. <laughs> it's early in October. We got time. We got time. We are going to party tomorrow night, so hopefully that's going to... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, Brittany from It's About Damn Crime is What's turning up? 30. 30, 30. And I love that both of you have Halloween birthdays, so she's doing a cartoon villain. Um, I'm stoked on it. I'm like all... I've got the white fur coat. I've got the long black dress, and I just need the Cruella DeVille wig, and I'm rocking and rolling. I'm ready for there. it. I'm ready for it. I'm going to be Hades from the Hercules movies. I've got the blue wig. I've got the like toga-y type thing with the blue sash on it. Uh, we're going to put some stories up. So Fuck yeah. We'll have to save the stories because when they hear this, it'll be past. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. Tomorrow, I'm going to be drunk as fuck at Britney's birthday.
birthday. Yeah. And it's already happening. Oh, we, me and Chris are already, we've already decided we're going to lift. Like okay, we're like, good. we're dropping off the kids and then we're leaving our car there. We're lifting to probably sushi and then we're going to the party. Fuck yeah. And we're lifting all the way across Vegas back home. Yeah, because she lives, she lives fucking far from me and further from you. But that's okay. That's as okay. Long, I like, I'm cool with partying and honestly, lift is not that much. No. And they're not a sponsor, but I just, I feel, I'm a sponsor of like not drinking and driving. Oh because, yeah, definitely. You know, I've done a lot of dumb shit in my twenties and I just lived, learned. You've learned the lesson. Lived the learned. <laughs> Lived the learned. <laughs> oh, so I I ran into Leanne from True Fusion. Remember? Uh, yes, it's from hot, hot in here. here. I love her so much. Shout out Leanne. She's, She's so the coolest. fucking cool. She's like, girl, guess what? So True Fusion <laughs> called her the other day and was uh -huh. like. Alex Rodriguez is coming to Scottsdale to like film a uh, media PR and he's going to be taking a class. Fucking A-Rod. They called her. J-Lo's fiance A-Rod? Yes. They were flying our girl Leanne from Hot in Here out to uh, teach the A-Rod class. She's teaching a boot camp class. She's going to have that motherfucker lifting kettlebells, doing lunches. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so excited <laughs> They're flying for her. around there. I go, you serious? She's like, yeah. I was like, I knew it. Like just the, these people that we have found for you to introduce to you, we know they're on to big things yeah. connect with them link up i feel like Sandy we're all Bonita's building something in fun. fucking fiji right now <laughs> I love it so much. She's being her fabulous in self in Fiji I because she it. is Sandy and she is <laughs> fabulous. Like, I saw that on Instagram. I was like, you go, girl. So also, Paige's book signing is next Friday at the, the Venetian. Yeah, it's from 5 to 8 if you guys can go. Yeah, I'll be there at like 5.36. We're going to go down and support yeah. and be there. And then uh, Brie and I have a night. It's birthday party birthday night. Birthday weekend. Woo! Because uh, what are we going to do? I think we're going to go see Gwen Stefani. We did ponder Magic Mike, but hey, uh, it's kind real, of expensive. the real deal is tickets are close to $200 if you want to be on the floor. Yeah. That's insane. And that's $200 a piece. That's like I couldn't even get that price for tickets if I was working at the radio station. Like the radio no. station couldn't even get me hookups. No. I used to be spoiled with ticket hookups. but I mean, I still have ticket hookups, but like, I don't feel like Magic Mike is, no, is, is worth, worth that much money. Ask. But it is a hot show. I have heard that. I I've heard that, I've heard that too. Honestly, I'd rather like if we're gonna go to a strip club, let's just go to like Hustler or something like Larry Flynn's. Oh, go to a. Uh, let's go get some titties in our face, not some junk in our face. Do you want me to take you to a strip club? I mean, uh, we're gonna go see Gwen Stefani. We'll see how the night unfolds <laughs> after that. <laughs> All right, because then after that is the live show. Fuck yeah, it is. Man. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm excited because it's, show's almost sold out. Yeah, so you guys need to get your tickets yeah, so, now because it's five dollars. There's a few tickets left, but all three shows are selling tickets and we have a lot yeah. we have a, a lot of fun stuff and we have a very interactive event there's going to be really cool hookups uh free set of lashes if you never had lash extensions rock that costume and we're gonna, <sighs> janelle's hooking it up what's Thank her instagram you. uh get lashed by jan and also vegas born photography is going to be giving away um you know that free photo shoot for the winner of the costume contest hey, she does yeah. that cool like lifestyle photos you know so dude i'm stoked on that yeah i wish i was like i wish i could win this shit i know well they should hook us up but we hook us up with in, in the homey way, and other ways. And we definitely like, we like to bring the party, so we, we definitely will have some cocktails in the, yeah. the business, so. Um, what the fuck are you watching? You know I can't take it unless I know what are you watching every I, day. <laughs> well, I've been watching a scary movie every night. Okay, so what else, any like good scary movies we need to like, we maybe forgot? Well, okay, Scream so for sure. Well, I've, I've done the Scream, um, I did the Evil Dead original, Evil Dead 2, and then the Evil Dead remake. Mm -hmm. um, but I did watch The Craft. I oh my god, that's a great... I that's, which is not technically a scary movie, it's, but that's one of my all-time favorite movies. It's so great. Man, yes. Feruza Balk, she's a animal. Do you ever see her in Oz and uh, The Wizard? No, it was just called Oz. Oz. The Wizard of Oz, she's like the second creepy one. fucking amazing. I loved her in Almost Famous. She had a very yeah, small role in Almost cool. Famous, but she had like one of the coolest lines. She's like, these girls, they don't even use birth control, and they eat all the steak. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's just one of those people, like you throw her in a movie, she just instantly gives it she was in um She was in The Water Boy. Yeah, she, she was, was his girlfriend. She was so great. Um, I, after high school, I moved to the city that The Water Boy was filmed in. A lot I'm of my, sorry. a lot of my coworkers, yeah, it was like Daytona, Florida, and then I moved to West Palm, and then I moved to Vegas. But um, Vegas is way cooler. Yeah, it was like Daytona. It was this little little area, and all the people at my work had just like got paid fifty dollars to be like extras in the Water Boy. Oh shit! Were you an extra in the Water Boy? No, I had just moved there, and the Water Boy was just filmed there. And like Fuck. everybody from my work, like yeah, we all got paid fifty bucks to hang out for the day and like film the movie. I was like, huh, that was the one thing that town was known for forever and always. I was an and extra me. in a movie. 
Wh which one? Pay it forward. I was, I was, I honestly, I was in middle school. It was like not even a big deal. That's so funny. What? Like I'm not even credited. Like I have no IMDb <laughs> credits. Like I was just in like one of the scenes. Oh, that's so But funny. I went to high school with, can I give spoilers on this movie? It's so fucking old, yes, right? Yes, yes. I went to high school with the guy who stabbed Haley Joel Osment in the movie. <laughs> it has Kevin Spacey, Haley, the, the kid from, Ugh, uh, I hate Kevin Spacey. I know. He's creeped me out for ever i know he's you were on, like gross. i thought he was one of the great actors and then he fucking disappointed me and you were like no he's creepy and he's I was like, always giving me the creep i'm like ew i don't like Kevin Spacey. i just need edward norton to never have a me too issue oh god he is my one of my all-time favorite he's actors so hot american once he he's did american so... x it was like you're hot and then he could just go back to being scrawny again he's so <laughs> fucking sexy to me as in american history x and as just like kind of scrawny edward norton's so fucking sexy i still buy stand by unconventional sexy Woody Harrelson. <sighs> God damn Woody Good for Harrelson. You. But I don't think I don't think Ed Norton is unconventionally sexy. He's just sexy in that like well, he's not that he doesn't like have in that, Fight like, Club. Oh, he doesn't have that, like chiseled Chris Hemsworth no. thing. But he's got something sexy. He's got something very sexy about him. I loved him even like I was introduced to him in Primal Fear. Primal Fear was a great movie. And he wasn't sexy in that movie, but holy shit, his yeah. acting skills made me wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was super hot in that movie. Now I want to go watch Primal Fear, guys. So, yeah, movies that lead to sex. What did we watch recently? It was like some stupid show on uh, Netflix, and it was called Serial Killer, maybe? <gasps> okay, I've seen that. Is it <laughs> worth watching? No. Okay, that's why don't I watch the it. sex. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, put on something campy and cheesy and funny. Yeah. Like when you Netflix and chill, sometimes you put on something you really want to see. Like, that's not a good idea. Put on something you're like, man, eh, this would be fun. Especially it's Halloween time. It's time to get sex. This is the time to like cuddle up. The weather's changing. Like put on a, a silly, scary movie that's kind of sexy, kind of edgy. Maybe it's just dumb. And I don't know, but okay. that works for me. You want a good campy, scary movie? I don't know if it's on Netflix or anything, but Trick or treat there's multiple movies called trick-or-treat there is one specifically where the main character his name is sam and it's a it's the spirit of halloween and his name is sam and he has a lollipop that can slice your neck open oh <laughs> But it has um, Anna Paquin in it. Oh. It's the type of movie where it has all these different storylines going on, but they all connect somehow. Okay. I'm watching Anna Paquin in The Affair right now. Anna Paquin, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch the first season of True Blood, which is fucking sexy. The next season Oh, sucked. you're right. I wonder if I, I just, True Blood fell off for me. I, it did. I it was stupid. It, in the very ending, the hell. ending of it, I was like, whatever. That first season was hot as hell. Well, we I, can't even deny. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm also a big fan of Al Seed. So when he got introduced, I was like, okay, I'm a little wet again. But I don't know who that is. I just remember Al Seed is Joe, Ma Sophia Vergara's husband. I the forgot werewolf. he was even in that. Oh, my he God. He was a werewolf. He didn't get introduced till season three. Well, see, I remember the season where, like, the girl came and she was hypnotizing everybody. And their oh, yeah, eyes the witch. That was black. season two. That was sexy. The eyes turned black. And they, and they were having those orgies. Oh, and they played, like, Thievery Corporation. They were yes. playing my music and that shit. And I was like, oh, yeah, I like that. See, I liked season <laughs> one. I was like, this is vampire sex. I'm okay with watching. Okay, what I am currently watching right now. Right now, I've been watching Ballers is back. That is one. I, I feel like I can get a. I oh, yeah. Fucking, you you I like The Rock. I fucking but... love The Rock, but I love how, like, all the scenes are, like, really sexy, like Miami, L.A., you know, yeah. just, like, powerful. Vegas. Everybody's got money. You know, it's I just, have a like, friend it's who very was, inspiring. It's I have a, a friend who is a show. makeup artist on the Vegas season. Oh, wow. I, I love the styles. Like, everybody yeah. looks gorgeous and glamorous and cool. Well, that's how I felt about Entourage. I was always like, oh, up? God, that's such, I need to, re I would rewatch Entourage. It's I would, so too. Great. The movie I didn't like so much. I forgot there was a movie. See, that's how much you like great, that movie. Great TV show should never make a movie because it's just not gonna. It's just gonna well, be. Yeah, look at what fucking Sex happened to Sex in the City. In the city. Oh. What's up? It's MJ. Hey, I'm Bri. We're from the Keeping It Casual podcast. And the IADC crew, Justine and Brittany and Scott. <laughs> <laughs> from It's About Time Crime. Yeah. Hey, hi, hello. This is Ashley Hoover Baker from the On This Day Entertainment podcast. You guys, we are having a live podcast event. The Alternative Babe Show! Woo! It's Saturday, guys. October 26th at 8 p.m. at Pole Fitness Studio. Wear your goddamn costumes! <laughs>
<laughs> we have all kinds of fun things. In addition to costume contests, we're going to have giveaways, trivia, everything that your Halloween loving self is craving, pole dancing, comedy, all the drinks, y'all. Sexy babes. It is a live podcast event with three vastly different podcasts. Tell them how much it is. Five dollars. Five dollars. Make you holla. Five dollars. <laughs> Make me holla. If you can't come for five dollars, I mean, come Even on. Even the broke Just, bitches can come for five dollars. Right. Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> I'll come All for right. free. <laughs> Guys, guess what? Don't forget to pick up your tickets at keepingitcasualpodcast.com under the Keep It Casual live show. That's right. It's only tab. five dollars. Come on. And if you rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, you get into our monthly Keep It Casual swag giveaway. Giving away the last Wednesday of every month. Right on. Look forward to seeing you. Okay, but you told me you had a juicy advice email that I'm really All excited right. to get into. Okay, so here's the thing. We've talked about this. Um, we get a lot of, you know, we get DMs that are very short and sweet, and we love them so much. But sometimes we'll get a nice little juicy advice email. Somebody yes. sat down and, like, typed out an email, which is old school, and I love it. And what's funny about this is that she said something about she found us um, through an Instagram post from a show she listens to on Sirius XM. So I commented on a Sex with Emily post. and um, That's how she found us? She found us. Rachel Nicole um, told me she found us through another podcast. We came up in recommendations. And I was I, like, oh. I, and and um, Lauren, Lauren from Alternative hello. Room Clothing. Hello, darling. She said she found us because you had commented something on Girls Gotta Eat. And oh, she was Girls like, Gotta Eat. She was like, who is this? And she was like, what's the Keeping It Casual podcast? And I wow. was like, Oh, yeah, that's so crazy. You isn't, know, isn't um, that interesting? I, I love it. I got to say my new favorite podcast I just found is called Scam Goddess. I think she's just dropped one episode. Oh, shit. But it's fucking cool because I don't true crime is a lot for me to yeah, take know. sometimes. But I love like she called a true con like con artist, Ooh. scam artist. And she, I'm I love super into Hollywood crime scene and they do two episodes a week. They do one episode where they like actually talk about a crime, but it's all Hollywood based. Uh -huh, so it's uh -huh. like. But then their other episode that they drop is so amazing. It's my favorite. They talk about like dumb shit going on in the in the news. Oh, okay. So who is this? So they like it's called Hollywood Crime okay. Scene. So all they'll right. like talk about Aaron Carter and like all the crazy shit he's doing. And then in that episode, they're like, "What are you watching? What are you listening to? And what are you eating?" And I'm like, "You, this is my bitches." <laughs> That's a uh, yeah. I those are. Uh, it's, it'd be like if you and I hosted like the way I listen to Hollywood Crime uh -huh. Scene. It'd be like if you and I hosted a true crime podcast. That's like funny. no fucking see and, and I, then they, they like talk shit about them they're like god they're such trash so you <laughs> have you have such a love for true crime yeah. so for me to hear like the scam the goddess i would yeah. be like oh i understand people that would really want to do a true crime podcast yes. that would be a lot that that's like not something that i like listening but for me i couldn't like get into all that oh yeah like research I, and I stuff i appreciate Brittany and justine because they fall down like they have to fall down those oh, rabbit my gosh. holes and they're like detectives but yeah the way i look at the the scamming i'm like now that's that's some I would love to be a detective on a scam artist case you know like the crime like some catch me if you can yeah, shit yeah like the murder would be too much for me but I would be like a total like like scammer detective like, I love that shit like, okay so you should start ass. you should you should here's here's my new career goal for you you need to be Neve from Catfish's new co-host on oh, the show oh no I don't want to deal with that I'll be punching people remember when that dude our episode Catfish was one of our yes shop downloaded it really fun too <laughs> Neve from catfish we found your new co-hostesses <laughs> <laughs> fuck it a it's like all right i mean that's one thing we could try <laughs> <laughs> why not we could totally be on tv if um oh god what's that podcast that has their own tv show on the e-network uh, i know you know what uh, the three girls the three girls i've yeah. listened to it a couple times and i i listened to it and i can't think of what it is it has kelty colleen You're killing me I don't jack know vanick the names. The chick from Shit. Glee. Oh. The Lady Gang. The Lady Gang. Yes. Oh, God. Shout out to them. They're badass I've, I've heard about that. They're the, like ones that like have a name that you just know in the podcast world. And you've heard about them, even if you haven't listened to them that much. But or um, if you're if, but if you're I, drunk like me, you forget. But I think that's cool, though, because and I have watched them do their thing. And I think it's really fun. I think podcasting is great. And Whatever. I, I We're going to have our own everybody. reality show. I support everybody. Like it's anybody, already sold out. Anybody I listen to and I believe in, like I support them. And I will I shout the them out in our podcast. You know, really I, you know what I do? You know what 
I really like to do if I really, really support somebody, I leave them a rating and review. Yes, would you on, rate and review? On Apple Podcast. Like, if you listen and you're like, you know what, I, w- I really appreciate the show, ladies. That's like, that's the podcast thing. That's like how you have to do it. And that's how we get found know. out. Yeah. But anyways, this yeah. was a whole total sidetrack we took. We okay. have an advice email. We ha- I just spilled beer all over myself. I mean, it's okay because you're going to want to get wet for this one, all right? So, he- here is the thing, guys. So we've talked about this briefly, but we've never really delved in, and I think it's time. It is fucking time. Are you ready, Bree? I'm ready. I got beer all over your kid's taco blanket. Uh, it's all of our taco blankets. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about some great sexpectations, okay? Uh, she she went on to say, like, it's funny how I found you guys. You're my first podcast. Found you on the, found you from a random post you commented on from another show I listened to on Sirius, Sex with Emily. And I'm like, what? And it says, and I know it's a podcast, too. Just never listen that way. All right. But I was listening to her show for a while looking for sex tips, really. I'm still kind of uncomfortable talking to my guy about what I want sexually or Mm. even initiating. Mainly it's been him. Sex tips are fun, but I really love the casual conversation you girls have about relationships and not just sex. I think I think I was focusing too much on how I could give a better blowjob versus how we were connecting. Breathe through your nose. That's how you give the better blowjob, ladies. I mean, I've got more tips, but breathe through your nose is number one. (laughs) I know when your mouth is open, you want to breathe through your mouth, breathe through your nose. Anyways, go back. Okay, I love it. I love it. She was focusing too much on how to give a better blowjob versus how we were connecting and realized I needed a new approach to my frustrations. You guys brought up this question a few times, and every time I'm intrigued at their response and always compare how much sex they think they should be having in a relationship oh <laughs> yeah we have bring that, brought that up a few times yeah. and uh, it, everybody has a different response every relationship's different Anyways, i know you're right yeah everyone has had a different answer but i feel almost embarrassed by my relationship even to say it out loud but we are barely having sex and he seems fine with it it's become the norm and i just don't feel sexy anymore we have been together for two years now and i do love him i know he loves me we moved in together six months ago and it just got so comfortable so fast some months it may be only one time some maybe three times and that's a good month before we moved in it felt like it was every time we saw each other and now i don't know i'm starting to feel like this is the beginning to the end but i don't (laughs) want that I don't know how to address this without hurting him. I've got all the sex tips, LOL. Just haven't been able to use them. I'm invested and I'm down for a live show if you guys ever come up north to Seattle. Oh, thank yes. you, it's already Mallory. Sold out. <laughs> oh, okay. So th- Dan Savage this, is going to come help us too. This he lives in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was very. Um, okay, mm. so here, let me break this down piece by piece. When they were seeing each other before they moved in together, they Look were having up sex constantly. Uh, okay. Yeah. How long, how many times a week were you seeing each other? Cause like, if you're like comfortable only seeing somebody once a week, you're pretty much having the sex that you told me you're having. That is a good point. Uh, you, you know what? You know, I think a lot of us don't even think about that when we're just like, when you live with somebody and you're in that relationship every day, it's like, oh my God, do we have to be fucking every day to prove no, to each other that God. this is a real relationship? That sounds exhausting. Like, I don't, <laughs> don't want to be fucking every day. I'm the single one and I'm telling you right here. Well, I mean, everybody knows I'm not really going around showing my cat to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, if the guy I've been seeing on and off, if he and I were living together, I don't think there's... Anyway, the two of us would be fucking every single day. And I am so sexually attracted to him. Like, the fact that he is out of state right now and I'm not able to have sex with him Mm -hmm. makes me want to fuck him even more. But if he was there every day, all day, you would be like, hmm. There you are. I'll get you when I need you. I'll get that dick when I need that dick. Ah, um, sometimes s- when you want the dick and they want the pussy, uh, it just doesn't line up. So you're saying you're only having it once a month. Mm-hmm. Did, she didn't say if uh, who was initiating, right? She said that uncomfortable talking to my guy about what I want sexually, even okay. initiating. I'm sorry. She said it's mainly been him. If you are uncomfortable talking to your partner about what you want sexually, that is a problem within you that you need to work on Mm -hmm. because you should be able to tell your partner i want you to go down on me more whatever it is you know that's just the first thing that came to my head because i feel like guys don't go down on girls nearly as much as we go down on them well you know i agree and i think it's just they get kind of lazy and um they think that it's easier for us what do you think about that 
I mean, t I guess it is easier for us to make them come from a blowjob than them to make us come from oral. You know Which is what? why we're going to have the all oral episode soon. Oh my God, I can't fucking wait for the all oral episode. I've, I have questions and we have listeners with questions. DM us the questions now, like drop yes. them in because we got another sex expert coming on. It's going to be. It's going to so, be. Uh, you're it's be already sold notes. out. Guys. I, have, I have messages. Uh, I got messages on, on the Instagram the other day I was looking at and they were like, I'm listening to the let's talk talk about sex episode uh -huh. she's like and i'm taking notes and i was like yes fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah um so <sighs> jesus christ yeah um I, here here's and i think you just said something when we said about like the oral sex thing it was like um sometimes guys you know they might be frustrated because they don't know if they're gonna make us come they don't know if they're doing it but right away but we can men, make them come like that with a blowjob you just know? because we might not come as easily doesn't mean i like when i'm getting oral doesn't mean i necessarily want to come no i might want you to build it up and then we have penetrative sex and then i can come really fucking hard from both of it that is a very interesting point when it comes to oral sex for men and women it's very different for men you can have a finale like that you know but for women that is like how you get us going that's how you yeah. build us up and keep us going like that Ugh. is like i mean that's guaranteed you go down that's happening you know my ex only went down on me very few times mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he told me like I, I remember one time we were fighting and i was like and you don't fucking go down on me as much as i go down on you and he was like just not my thing and i was like well make it your thing if you want to keep me around oh god now the guy yeah. i'm sleeping with now i didn't even have to ask the first time we had sex uh -huh. and i said something to him about it and he goes what kind of men have you been sleeping with? Uh, yeah, you know, that's there's a lot of uncomfortable topics when it comes to sex. And when you're in a situation where you feel like everybody's having more sex than me, I can They're guarantee not. you I've been in, I've been had phases like that where I was just like, oh, maybe just the schedule was off or you're not having the wild sex of your life. Things yeah. happen in life. It shifts in relationships. It goes like that. And you but at that moment, you're just like everybody's having all the sex and I'm not. You, you, you have watch like a romantic sex Movie. You what? Yeah, you watch like a romantic movie, and you're like, oh, all this stuff is, in, you know, you start to like, don't watch Sex in the City and have those expectations. Yeah, yeah, the expectations are insane. You know, Not you romanticize it. Everybody just, is so ideal. Samantha Jones, but like, and all it, relationships are so different. Exactly, because I have friends that tell me about they, they're having sex all the time, and I'm like, oh God, like my pussy wouldn't like that. I, I it was a little ravenous, and you know, of course, when Chris and I first started, but younger. you were young and loved and like yeah just, and i mean I've been, that's a phase guys <laughs> i was very ravenous when i first met my ex i was like we better be having sex all the time but now i'm like yeah it, it, and it depends like i'm gonna say this like i've been on i've been on medication new medication this year mm -hmm. i don't need to get into what kind of medication i've been on guys but it's killed my sex drive a little bit yeah it changes your mood so yeah. it's just like it's a phase even, right now even birth control like antidepressants anti-anxieties birth control alcohol well um, makes it more fun sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, but like if somebody is like constant whiskey dick, or yeah. or even too like much, yeah, smoking weed. Like I, when I smoke weed, my orgasms are super intense. But some guys smoke weed mm -hmm. and don't want to have sex. Like they get lazy. Oh, that sucks. You know what I mean? It's like it's really it, fun. It, yeah, <laughs> I know. Weed lube, guys. Weed lube. Well, I, you know, but I think that feeling of like everybody's having all the sex and I'm not. And I think what you need to do, especially if it's like two years in, like it's it's also it's new. But it's also so comfortable, and it's like, okay, you're in it, you're moved in, things are like, it's it, progressing. It's like, from, I put, yeah. put, you're putting a lot of like pressure. Um, yeah, you're focusing on the wrong things like you knew, you know, but it's like sometimes talking about sex is not sexy. Sometimes you just need to go and have the sex. You exactly. need to just go initiate it at the most random weird time of all time, and and you just need to do it. It's honestly That's, like even if you don't want to go work out and you do it, and afterwards you feel fucking amazing, and then it builds it. It that's builds what, like back into a habit. That's Sometimes what just I was going to say that. is because it sounds like it seems like she wasn't comfortable initiating sex. Like, girl, pants that man you live yeah. with. Because sometimes, like, I would feel like, you, I mean, if you I feel was, like, I don't want to bother them. They're like playing video games right now. Yeah, or well, you know what? I've, I've had a relationship. Or, I've had a relationship where I was the one who initiated sex more than my partner. Uh -huh. And it got to me to the point where I was like, God, I'd, I'm like, I just want them to 
want make me. me feel desired yeah yeah come after me it's, and it's a, and that is a classic stereotypical like the guy has to Come yeah the so, you, so you were like that a little bit no but i was like i was definitely like i was the initiator most of the time and then i i got exhausted and i was like i i remember crying to this man and being like don't you ever just want me mm-hmm. and he was like well you always initiate it so i thought like so it was just kind of like an open conversation that needed to be had but girl just pounce that pounce yeah that, pounce, get on that d you know what i've uh you how's know, that man e- even even when you notice that you're not connecting maybe like this sometimes i have to look and be like all right am i making myself available like am i just yeah. always kind of closed off am i you busy all hot? the time and shit like what the, the wake up blow job oh yeah Ooh. yeah try that girlfriend okay i like morning sex uh, you know what uh, morning sex i kind of leaning into it you know i'm yeah. i'm more of a night owl i am too but, but like i really like like that half lazy half asleep morning mm-hmm, sex mm-hmm. wake up like wake him up with an amazing fucking blowjob oh yeah that's definitely that's so hot you. you have to be you know what being prepared for that morning sex you know make sure mm-hmm. you have water make sure you have some lube like make yeah. sure you have a few little things maybe yeah because your mouth's gonna be dry girl <laughs> yeah yeah in the morning like you're get up and pee whatever you're gonna do like just kind of you gotta <laughs> get it already that's the one thing morning sex cannot always be so spontaneous like you know you have to you have to have a minute and you have to be careful about morning breath like you have to not give a fuck about morning breath when it's morning sex yeah you have to just i think i think they have these little teeny mints a little water yeah and just like you go know at it. what was really hot that i asked my my ex to do and i just fucking loved it maybe i mean i know you're uncomfortable talking about sex with your partner but you need to be comfortable talking about sex with your partner girl especially if you're living if especially if you're living together yeah. but you know what something i asked my my ex to do and it was pretty hot you know what even if i'm just pretending to sleep one morning i want you to like i want you to wake me up by basically like i want you to start fingering me i want you to just do this yeah me, and that's how i want to wake up Ooh. And he was just like what <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I like that. Oh, girl. Mallory, you need to, uh, that's you good need stuff. To, you need to have Chris do that to you. I know. Yeah, um, just like. Do that tonight. Like, yeah. You know what? When I want, you know, I want to be woken up tomorrow. This is how. <laughs> Ladies, sex challenge. We've done a sex challenge in a while. We have Another it. DM said, I, I'm listening to your um, sex challenge for uh, 2016. 2016. <laughs> Taking us back. 2019? 2019? <laughs> yes. Yes. Sex challenge for, we started the year off with yeah, the sex challenge. We did start the year off with sex challenge. Yes. Yeah, then I got broken listening. up with and I was sad and I didn't give a fuck about anybody having sex. <laughs> <laughs> sex Sorry guys. That is a hot sex challenge. Just tell them. So if you're uncomfortable telling them, like you can always text it to them. You text can always, it to them. Uh, even like, oh, I'm old school. I like a love writing notes, like little notes. I was gonna I'll say, leave them write in the lunchbox and leave it. or by the coffee. You just, Ooh. I love you. If, you know, just make sure somebody told you today how sexy you are. Write a I, sexy note yeah. and leave it in his lunch and be like, you know what? I love it when you Mm-hmm. put your mouth on my titties like yeah. whatever yeah like and then they'll be thinking about like just make it something small like that and they'll be thinking about that all day and, long and you know what i love that because you know what she was saying she's listening to like getting a lot of sex tips but it's like this is all like you know that anticipation building it's not just about yeah. like the technical shit it's like you got to build that outer like yeah that zone so you feel oh, com- I love you start getting closer and start feeling comfortable that you can talk to him about sex I if love you can't sexting. talk no Set. Yeah, sexting is, you know, like I honestly, Chris and I would more like uh, um, notes and stuff. Yeah. Did I ever tell you when um, we, I was living in LA for a little bit and he was in Vegas and we had a little long distance yeah. thing and I would send him and I called this, uh, I was doing the pillow talk show at the time yes. and I talked about this in our Valentine's special. Serious exib, if you guys ever yes. want to pick us up. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'll come back. <laughs> we will. We have to be able to record here, but five yeah. days a week, like sex with Emily. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever want to pick us up. Yeah. We have a lot of, uh, of, of needs, but anyways, it w- we were talking about the MP3 T's. So mm. I was like, this is what I would do is I would just uh, take my little voice record. You know, you can text somebody a voice yeah. memo, text them a voice memo, hit voice memo, get your vibrator out and just put the vibrator on and keep your phone next While to your you're mouth masturbating? and they're just going to hear you breathing. And it's like the hottest fucking thing ever. Oh. It still has that. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I'm turned on. I'm yeah. by listening. It's hearing. so good. And if you're not sure, I mean, even if you feel uncomfortable, like, I don't know what I'd sound like, I don't know how that feels, just do it once and here, listen back so you can feel confident how sexy that is. That's a big turn on. It's MP3 true. tees, okay? They, um, hashtag they, that shit. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> 
Girl, that was fun. Yeah, another fun conversation with you. Yes. If you have any feedback, email us feedback at keepingacasualpodcast.com. My Twitter is Bree Mixed, B R E E M I X E D. And I'm at MJ Radio Diva, any social platform. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Keeping It Casual Podcast. You get to see live videos, silly little photos of us, mm-hmm. all the dumb photos that we talk about. Anything yes. photo wise we talk about in the episode, it'll be there. We look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> we'll be back with more uh, gossip about nothing and everything. Bye. Bye.